So be careful here, it's a bit slippery. Indian engineer Deepak Jaiswal is finding it hard to get a foothold as he makes his way along the Sura River in Shuftland. He's come here to see how a gravitation water vortex plant works, ahead of exporting the idea to India. Stefan Zwisik explains how to measure the speed of the stream. It's about measuring the quantity of the water flow, so we can assess the energy potential of the water at this point. The Indian engineer needs this information in order to evaluate whether certain places in India are suitable sites for hydropower plants. Deepak Jaiswal set up an Indian-Swiss joint venture together with Richard Fergley to develop the plants. He explains why water vortex plants will be suitable for use in his homeland. So it's a great technology because there are several technologies available in hydro segment and this, with this technology we can go to a lower uh, flow rate and which probably no other technology can meet. So this can give us power uh, for uh, smaller flows and so on. Gravitation water vortex plants are built directly on top of riverbeds. Each has a tank with a rotor, which creates a stable vortex as it turns. The gravitational force created drives a turbine, which powers a generator. The system can produce the same amount of energy per year as consumed by 20 to 30 Swiss households. There are remote places where there is no power. So such remote places where uh, there is a lot of availability of water, and uh, there is no power and people are dependent on other sources of uh, power like diesel and so on. So there we want to bring such uh, power plants and uh, uh, give electricity to the people which will increase, uh, will improve their life and uh, lifestyle. In Switzerland a plant like this costs 200,000 Swiss francs. In India it will cost around 75,000. Fergali and Jaiswal plan to build 1,000 vortex power stations starting this year. The potential in India is huge. These small plants could generate 15,000 megawatts of power, and there's potential for a million of the type of plants you see here. There are also plans afoot to build 30 such facilities in Switzerland, but there are issues with wastewater and its possible effect on fish. The GWWK cooperative that runs the Argyle plant is confident that these problems can be overcome. It could take two or three years. This is normal in Switzerland. We can develop the project during this period. Water usage laws were revised in 2011 and the cantons are now having to implement them. The first cantons have already done this. Just one of the green energy options being explored in Switzerland where the government has committed to closing its nuclear power plants.